The demonic realm is getting desperate for your energy. This is part two. You can find part one on my page. So as I touched upon in part one, there is a thing called the Phantom Matrix. And a lot of you have been commenting wanting to know more about the Phantom Matrix. This is where the demons, the fallen angelics, the parasites, the jinns, that's where they all come from. We've all seen this artwork in the esoteric and the occult. This top part is where we're from. The bottom part is called the Phantom Matrix. Do you see how it's attached to each other? Here's a real life reference. This is in New York City. It's in a hospital. And look how there's a middle part splitting in between. And you have a real city and a phantom city, phantom matrix. They put it right in front of your face. Alice in Wonderland was an allegory to this phantom matrix that actually exists. And you can literally see it in the movie. It says, and come to the other side where people walk upside down. And you know how Alice, when she goes into the hole following the rabbit, she's in a world of absolute chaos. Everything is upside down. Nothing makes sense. Phantom matrix is an actual matrix black hole system that is attached to our matrix system. And it is a black hole system because it absorbs and sucks in our energy. This is why demons absorb and suck in your energy. And here's another proof as to how I know the Phantom Matrix is real. Every time I say the word Phantom Matrix, the captions automatically capitalizes the P and the M in the words Phantom Matrix. I'm not doing this. The system knows what I'm talking about. So as I was saying, demons are getting desperate for your energy because Phantom Matrix is dying out. It is self-destructing. A black hole needs light to sustain itself. It absorbs everything around it. And the thing is, people are waking up to the fact that this realm is a little bit weird and we live in a vampiric system. This is why a lot of us are waking up to narcissistic abuse, psychopathy, sociopathy, and to not entertain energy vampires. Energy vampires are just human forms of the entities that are from Phantom Matrix. If not that, then that person has demons attached to them from Phantom Matrix. This is why Hollywood and the music scene and the film industry and all of that are displaying so many subliminals or sometimes even just straight up in your face about demons, alternate realities, multiverses. And there's so many symbols about mirrors and different parallel worlds because that is what Phantom Matrix is. The thing is, if we don't feed into their system, they will die. Any entity that exists in Phantom Matrix will die. And that includes your negatively oriented aliens, or what you call fallen angels, same thing. Jinns, demons, galactic parasites, parasitic thought forms that have become alive and celestial. All of these different parasites are going to cease to exist. That's why they're getting desperate for your energy. They need you to pay attention to them. They're constantly poking at you to, in hopes that you give them your energy, that you feed them. Because once you stop feeding them, they die, they perish. A lot of you are still gonna be confused about what Phantom Matrix is. It is a very complicated thing to explain. It will literally take me an hour to explain to you what Phantom Matrix is. So to make things easier for you, you can read my book. The link is in my bio. It's titled Made in God's Image. I briefly but easily explain to you how we got here. We got stuck in this matrix. What is our true galactic history and how you can access your own divinity and step out of this matrix. But if you want to learn more in depth and it gets a little bit complicated, I recommend you research Ashayana Dean. She is the OG. She knows what she's talking about. And if your third eye is wide open, you know that she's telling the truth. 